Blow, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 1e. The exasperated Springboks, they were told of, in the Northern News, Vryberg, Transvaal, March 21, 1925, by Mr. C.J. Gruwer, of Leitenhage. Also, I have a letter from Mr. Gruwer. The flats, about 50 miles from Leitenhage, Springboks leaping and shaking themselves unaccountably. At a distance, Mr. Gruwer could conceive of no explanation of such eccentricities. He investigated, and saw that a rain of little frogs and fishes had pelted the springboks. Mr. Gruwer heard that some time before, at the same place, there had been a similar shower. Coffins have come down from the sky. Also, as everybody knows, silk hats and horse collars and pajamas. But these things have come down at the time of the whirlwind. The two statements that I start with are that no shower exclusively of coffins, nor of marriage certificates, nor of alarm clocks has been recorded, but that showers exclusively of living things are common. And yet the explanation by orthodox scientists who accept that showers of living things have occurred is that the creatures were the products of whirlwinds. The explanation is that little frogs, for instance, fall from the sky and mixed with anything else, because, in the whirlwind, the creatures were segregated by differences in specific gravity. But when the whirlwind strikes a town, away go detachables in the monstrous mixture, and there's no findable record of washtubs coming down in one place, all the town's cats in one falling battle that lumps its infelicities in one place, and all the kittens coming down together somewhere else, in a distant bunch that meows for its lump of mothers.